Andre LaFleur will check in to the LSU lineup. He's a junior out of Lafayette, 5'11 and 178. Jim, he's one for three on the year. His long field goal is only from 22 yards. Besh holding. This will be a 38-yard effort. Angle to the left. Low snap. Got the kick up. It is blocked. Loose football. Back at the Auburn 10. Play is dead. Auburn blocked the kick. Bad snap. They got it on the tee, and Chris Schilling, what else is new, blocks his third kick of the year. So Auburn has held defensively. LSU fails on its first attempt. 8.26, first quarter. Big play for the special team. Patrick Nix has him at the 22, first down and 10 to go. Two wide receivers. Going to fake to Davis, going to throw the screen pass behind the line. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. One man to lead across midfield and in the LSU territory. It's Harold Morrow all the way down to the LSU 47-yard line. A 31-yard burst on first down. Goodson on the left flank. And here's the wide side of the field is Frank Sanders. Davis staying in a tailback. Nix up under center with a new set of downs. Here comes the blitz. They're going to run the end around. No, they're going to give it to Davis off that toss sweep. Davis, oh, look at him. Move Packers, dragging Packers for 10, 12, 13 yards. Goodness sakes alive. 13-yard pickup when they had him dead to rights. At the line of scrimmage. Davis with a brilliant run. Tell me he doesn't run hard. Maybe his most impressive run since he's been at Auburn, Jim, because the middle linebacker, Mac, Mike Calais, Allen Stansberry, and also their leading tackler, the big cornerback, Rodney Young, all had shots at Stephen Davis on that play, but he kept his legs turning, and that's what you like in a big tailback. When he goes down, he's always moving toward the opponent's goal line. The angle is back to the left, the ball at the right hash mark. Rensfield snaps, Sullivan spots, Hawkins kicks, long enough, high enough, kick, good! 40 yards for Hawkins, and Auburn draws first blood. 11.49 in the first half, Auburn three, LSU nothing. Five-man front for Auburn, out of the shotgun with three wide receivers. Here's Howard unloading over the middle. This catches a deflection of 45 to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. Bases in a foot race to the 20, to the 10. He's going to go all the way. 76 yards, touchdown LSU. A deflected pass caught by Brett Besh, tipped by Brian Robinson. And Besh was able to come up with it near midfield. And from there it was a foot race and he outran the defense. Well, you talk about the turn of tides on one play in football and you could see everything on that play because Jamie Howard gets the touchdown pass to Brett Besh, but that ball was absolutely an interception. It was written all over that pass. Auburn had number 20, who is the free safety, Brian Robinson, just run right past the football and the ball went right through his hands. Remember, that's the same Brian Robinson that had the two big interceptions returned for touchdowns last season, but this season Auburn hadn't gotten the interception. LSU comes up with a huge play here at Jordan Hare. 76 yards as LaFleur will kick. That one is away. It is good. LSU 7, Auburn 3 with 10.48 left to play in the first half. Now they got two wideouts and one setback. Smith and Kennison on the flanks. Second and 10 at the 10. Howard. One set back, that's sharp, looking to get outside. Lost the football, it's loose in the end zone. Auburn falls on it! Auburn's got it for a touchdown! Touchdown, Auburn! Chris Schilling fell on the loose ball! As Sharp was forced to fumble, Mike Pelton hit him, the ball rolled into the end zone. Auburn's got the lead, 9-7! to seven. Jim, if you remember earlier in the ball game, when Jermaine Sharp was hit in the backfield on a previous play, I made the comment that he didn't take care of the football very well. He kind of carried it like a watermelon as he was going down. On that play, several of the Auburn players made contact with Sharp. He lost the football almost immediately. It bounded across the goal line. Two or three Auburn players had a chance at it, and Chris Schelling got on top of the football for the touchdown. Hawkins to try the point after. Sullivan holding, kick up. No good. First one, Matt Hawkins has missed. That one didn't seem to have any zip to it, and he hooked it outside the left goal uh, upright. And, Jim, that breaks a string of 75 straight extra points that were successful for Auburn. 7.34 first half. Auburn converts a turnover into a score and nonetheless has the lead. Auburn 9, LSU 7. This is hardly more than an extra point, a 22-yarder from the 12, just about straight on. 
The kick is up. The kick is good. And LSU leads it 10-9 with 26 seconds to go. Coach got the lead at halftime. Feel good about where we are. It's a close ball game. We're ahead. We cannot do what we did down here. We got to protect the football. You backed up in your own territory. You got to, you got to get it off the goal line. You got to get good field position if you have to punt it. But for, well, for goodness sakes, let's don't leave it on the ground and, and give them an easy one. Brett Besh, Eddie Kennison, the wide receivers, and they also bring Hill as a slot back to the near side. Third down and eight at the 45 for Howard. There's the snap. Auburn's got a good rush. Howard unloads. Pass. May have been intercepted. Let's see. Yes. Intercepted Chris Schilling. Chris Schilling with the interception. He fought off Besh and beat him to the ball. Auburn with a turnover. The last time they had a turnover, they got a touchdown. This time they've got a turnover on an interception by Schelling at their 47-yard line, first and 10 to go. Exceptionally good coverage by Chris Schelling at the cornerback position. Besh runs the tight, runs the uh, little quick curl route, and he just dives for the football along with Besh, and he's the one that comes up with it. He's blocked an extra point, blocked a field goal, recovered a touchdown in the end zone, all in the first three ball games. Now he makes Auburn's second interception of the year. Let's see if the Auburn defense can come up with a big play. Tight end breaks out into the slot. That's LaFleur. Both ends are split away. Sharp the tailback. Howard looking over the defense. Going to give it to Sharp. Sharp a block on the corner, and he butts head with the defender, and he fumbles, and I believe Auburn's got it. Yes! Auburn recovers the fumble. Schelling and Robinson teamed up to cause it. One hit him, the other recovered. As they unpile, they've already indicated Auburn ball. Robinson recovered as Schelling made the hit. How about that? I tell you what, that was a monster lick out of the defensive backfield. Auburn is known for making those kind of licks, but that sharp second fumble of the ball game, and he takes the ball upfield, and he is just jolted. absolutely jolted by Brian Robinson. And I thought Brian Robinson would probably come back and make up for the ball getting through his hands on the long touchdown, and he did on that play. Boy, he caused the fumble. Chris Schelling again there to make the, the uh, recovery. So two linebackers, five DBs. Here's the shotgun, needing six yards at the 38. High snap, just barely able to pick it up. And he throws to Kennison Long, and Kennison takes it in over the shoulder, running out of bounds at the Auburn 35. He just barely was able to grab that high snap and throw it 28 yards to Kennison, who hauled it in over his shoulder, running out of bounds on the far sideline. Del McGee was covering on the play, but another long third down play and a conversion for LSU with 6.31 left in the third quarter. Scoreless thus far, but LSU with its deepest threat, its deepest penetration of the second half. 45-yard field goal try by Andre LaFleur. Angle from the right hash mark. There's the snap. Spot down, kick away. Is it long enough? It is. It is good. Not exactly a thing of beauty, but he got it there and split the uprights. And LSU increases its lead to 13-9, the first point of the third quarter. Auburn's long winning streak in serious jeopardy here, friends. Boo Kennison is back deep for LSU. 3.39 left in the third period, 13-9. LSU leads it, and LSU has Auburn's number today. LSU's got a 10-man rush. Daniel stands at the one, gets a good snap, and gets away a nice kick. High, lazy, wobbly spiral. 40-yard line, here's Kennison. Kennison looking for room. Broke away, Kennison near the 45. He's got open field at the 50 to the 45 to the 40 to the 35. He's at the 30. He's into the Auburn 26-yard line. Harold Morrow made the saving tackle, or Boo Kennison goes all the way. Well, you got you to... Gotta a situation where Boo Kennison is probably the most dangerous punt returner in the nation, and Terry Daniel did everything he could do. He booted the ball out of there with good time. Boo Kennison just made an unbelievable move. He made Chris Schelling and Joe Frazier miss on the play, and I tell you what, the next time you kick it, you got to kick it out of bounds. You just can't put the ball in Boo Kennison's hands, kick the ball to the sideline. I can't believe bounds. they dared him to return it, because they know his capabilities. Bash and Wilson split to the right side in the slot formation. Out of the eye set. Here's Jamie Howard up under center, dealing it off again to the tailback tumor. Clean sailing into the five and on into the end zone. He got belted hard at the goal line, but he was after the fact, and LSU builds a 19-9 lead. 
A 10-yard burst by Robert Toomer straight up the middle. And it's quite obvious the Auburn defense is a tired unit. They've been on the field a long time, and they've come up with big play after big play after big play. That time, Toomer just made a move straight up the middle, caught a good block by his fullback, and Brian Robinson decked him at the goal line, but the official ruled that he got in. Here's the try for the point after by LaFleur. It's good. LSU 20, Auburn 9, two and a half minutes left in the third period. Second and 11 back at the seven. They said that Davis lost the yard. Wide outs, left hand right. Here is Craig from the eye set. Going to throw out of the end zone off the play. Fake, he's in a lot of trouble. He is hit, and he is going to be sacked outside the goal line. They say he is not in the end zone. Somebody had him dead to rights in the end zone, and he pulled away, came out across the goal line. Stansbury hit him, and they say that he was not in the end zone when he went down. Boy, oh boy. Well, Damian did everything he could to get out of that end zone. He was being... He made a great save, Charlie, because he put his arm down and kept his balance. Absolutely. Used every he ounce of athletic ability he had to get away from Gilliard and uh, kept Auburn out of a safety situation, but... LSU. Now look at this, Charlie. They won't let Craig see into the sideline. The cornerback, Rodney Young, was blocking his field of vision as he tried to get a play from Terry Bowden on the sideline. And, and Young just kept stepping in front of him and wouldn't let him see the bench. And this side judge on this side should have found, should have seen that, Jim. It was pretty obvious. He was moving back and forth between Terry Bowden and Damian Craig and wouldn't let him see the play. A 39-yard effort. Angle back to the near side. The ball on the far hash mark as he kicks it up. It got the distance. It's long enough and high enough and good. So the Auburn defense give them some credit. They bowed their necks and held LSU out of the end zone. But nonetheless, LSU has built a 23-9 lead on the Auburn Tigers here in the fourth quarter with 14-17 to play. This time they'll go from the shotgun. Triple wideouts left and one to the near side. The right. Howard waiting, taking the snap, looking with time, throwing up the field, intercepted by Alvin to the 40, 35 to 30, Alvin to the 25 to 20 to 15, Alvin to the 10, still on his feet on the 5, Alvin in the end zone, touchdown, Auburn! Throw up a tackle and somehow kept his feet at the 5, they had two men on him, both of them hit him, and I don't see how he kept his balance, but he did. 41 yards for the touchdown. 23 to 15. Hear the crowd. And that was one of the more spectacular returns of an interception that I've ever seen. Ken Alvis just playing center field on that play. Came in and broke on the football. Brett Besh was the intended receiver once he catches it. Here, we're going to have the extra point attempt by Matt Hawkins here, an ever important one. He missed his last one. This one is up out of the hold of Sullivan, and it's good. But Could a miracle happen? 23 to 16, and the defense has scored both the Auburn touchdowns today. Cedric Wilson, Brett Besh, split to the left. The ball at the right hash mark. From the eye, Tumor the tailback. Guerin is the fullback. Howard, boy, hear the noise. Howard gives it off to Tumor. Tumor's hit right there at the line. And he was nailed hard by Gary Walker. Slammed him down hard. Lost a yard or so. See, the Auburn defense is playing inspired football. They know the opportunity they have to give the ball back to the Auburn offense in good field position. Gary Walker, again, making another big play. He's playing inspired football and has been all year long. He's a senior out of Livonia, Georgia, and this is his time to shine. Crowd needs to make some noise here because third down and 10 on their own 14. LSU is facing a tough task against this Auburn defense. Another chance for the Auburn defense to make a big play. Wilson and Kennison to the left. Here's Besh to the right. Auburn setting defensively with a five-man front. Out of the eye. They need 11 yards. Taking is Howard. Play faking Howard. He's got time. Up the middle. Pass. Intercepted at the 32. At the 25. At the 20. At the 15. To the 10. To the 5. He's in. Touchdown Auburn. Brad Smith. Brad Smith. Touchdown Auburn. That is unbelievable. I cannot believe that Jamie Howard did the same thing again. He threw the same pass over the middle, and not only one Auburn man, but two Auburn men had a chance for the interception. 
And again, that's what field position does, Jim. It puts you in a position to make the big play. What can you say about this Auburn defense? There are not enough words to describe how they have played today. Back-to-back -back interception returns. That one 32 yards by Fred Smith. It is 23-22. LSU with the one-point lead. Auburn goes for the one. Hawkins kicks out of Sullivan's hole. Spot kick. Good. We're tied. Brand new game. 11-08 left in the ball game. Timeout on the field. Stand by. This is the Auburn Network. LSU 23. The Auburn defense 20. It's a 23 to 23 deadlock when it looked like Auburn was down for the count. The defense has risen to the occasion. Fred Smith intercepted a pass in 91 against Tennessee and ran it back for a touchdown. That's his second touchdown return of his career. And what an unbelievably big play for the senior coming back after that knee injury. Hawkins is going to kick it away from the return men. Little wedge shot fielded at the 20. LSU's going to try to return it across the 25. And oh, man, is he hit. He was drilled by Darrell Riggins. The return man hit also by Jimmy Williams at the 25. One of the up men over on the far sideline caught it and tried to peel back to the wide side of the field. Casey Howard, and Casey will remember that lick for a long time. 22-yarder, he kicked a 22-yarder earlier. Auburn's good at blocking them. Let's see what happens. There's the holder. Here's the kick on its way and good. Auburn had the great rush, but they just couldn't get a hold of it. Couldn't get a hand on the ball. And Chris Schelling may be hurt on the play. Schelling may have a cramp or he may have an ankle. Could be a problem either way. We'll check it when we come back. We have timeout with 5.26 to go. LSU back on top. LSU 26, Auburn 23. LSU with a play from Curly Hallman and his staff. Shuttled in by one of the wide receivers. Auburn setting up defensively. The crowd knows what has to happen here. Besh, Kennison, and Burks to the near side. They break the tight end of the floor out to the left side or the short side of the field. Robert Toomer is the setback. They need about four, four and a half yards. Third down play from there, 31 and a half. Howard wants to throw. Howard fires. Passes to Perron. It's intercepted at the 40, the 35, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's gone. Robinson, touchdown, Auburn! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Three interception returns for a touchdown. Bring Auburn back in this ball game. And it's the defense. Can you say defense, Auburn? Unreal. I don't believe what I've seen. I don't believe what I've seen. Three interception returns for touchdowns. Three of them. Count them. Unbelievable. A minute 55 to play. And for the first time in the second half, the Auburn Tigers have forged ahead. 29 to 26. Now an important extra point by Hawkins. They need the extra point. That would force LSU to score a touchdown in order to win and avoid any possibility of a tie. Still a minute 55 left. The snap, spot, kick, good! It's good! Auburn 30, LSU 26. An incredible ball game. Timeout is called. Quentin Riggins, give me a break. Jim, as, as, as a former defensive player, I love it. Well, my career at all, I might have had two interceptions, but this is phenomenal. I've never seen the defense rise to occasion. I'm down here in the defensive section. Everybody's excited. The crowd is excited. I'm looking up at the parent section. Everybody's jumping up and down. Only thing, we don't want to spend too much energy celebrating that last play. It's not over, folks. Almost two minutes to play, a minute 55 to go. Oh, if the defense can only hold them one more time. Regardless, one more time. Regardless of what happens, in the, in the next minute and 48 seconds, Jim, this has been probably the most remarkable defensive effort coming from behind and not way out front of any Auburn defensive effort that I've ever witnessed. Now Howard's gonna load up the shotgun. Three wide outs to the near side from his 39. First down play. You hear the noise, Auburn with a four-man front. The snap to Howard. 
Backpedaling and setting up. Going to throw over the middle. This one to the near side is caught inbounds at the Auburn 36. Burks caught it at the Auburn 36. Good for 24 yards. And Todd Burks has really been the nemesis of the Auburn defense today. If you get it anywhere around number 14 for LSU, he's hauled it in. That time Fred Smith had the ball thrown over the top. And Dell McGee on that side, they were trying to close the gap. Couldn't get there quite in time. Bash to the near side. There goes Smith to the far side in the slot with Burks. Franklin the setback in there with Howard, who's got him in the shotgun. There's the deep snap. Howard under the gun, going to throw over the middle. It's intercepted at the 15, running up to the 20. He had it knocked loose. Ball is rolling out of bounds, rolling, rolling to the sideline. LSU's going to fall on it. Who's going to get it? LSU back at the Auburn 47. How about that? An LSU player knocked it out of Robinson's hands. The ball rolled up field, and LSU's Marcus Price, offensive tackle, was there to fall on the ball. But it's obviously a big loss back from the Auburn 25, a loss of big, big yardage. Jim, an entire emotional juggernaut on one play. Now, good grief. LSU is on the 25-yard line, knocking on the door. Brian Robinson makes another interception, and I told you he was going to come back after that ball got through his hands early on. But then he has the ball knocked away. So it's first down and, and, ten. and 10. Back at the 46. What a bizarre ball game this has been. 50, uh, 39 seconds to go. Howard's going to pass. Howard fires. This one is caught. A great catch down at the 33. Climbing the ladder, going up and holding on. Despite the fact he knew he was going to take a wicked hit from Chris Schelling was Eric Smith. 29 seconds remaining. LSU is aided by the fact that they've got to move the chains. It gives Jamie Howard time to call his play. The first down and 10 again. Ball back at the Auburn 32-yard line. 16-yard pickup to the 32. Still 23, 22, 21 seconds. Here's Howard going to throw in the end zone. Howard's going to pass. It is intercepted. Chris Schelling got it in the end zone. Chris Schelling with yet another Auburn interception. And this one is history. 16 seconds to go. Schelling went up ahead of Eric Smith. Took it away in the end zone. The Auburn defense has once again risen to the occasion. Unreal. Coach Bowden really was somewhat perturbed by the fact that the Auburn secondary, out of two games, had no picks, no interceptions. It was Alonzo Etheridge, of all people, at a defensive end position that got the interception last week against Northeast. It was Auburn's only interception on the year. But what a turnaround by that defensive secondary. Charlie, two interceptions on one drive. Auburn's going to drop to a knee. Genuflecting, and that's going to do it. Damian Craig, jubilant as he comes out of the pile. And Auburn fans, you're living right. This was a day that belonged to the big war eagle in the sky. The streak is still alive. 14 in a row. An incredible, unbelievable football game unlike any that I have ever seen. The final score. The Auburn defense, 27, LSU, 26. the greatest defensive ball game ever played. I ain't never seen the best. I have never defense. I may never, ever be one like that. Hey, listen up, listen up. Every, listen, listen. In offense, don't you pout. You better have just as much fun as they did. Hey, hey, hey. We scored all the time we got in the second half. <laughs> Hey, right. offense, you have a great time tonight, but we got our work it out for us next week. Uh -huh. Listen, listen, we win together. Defense, really when well, you had to do it, you had to score, you had to stop them, you took it down from the deepest part of your heart, and you did it. That offense is going to come back and help you one day. We're going to be after every day. Don't you let me see one down our offense, because I am so proud, I can't stand it. You don't ever have a win. Hey, 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 hey. One, two, one, two, three.
sometimes when we break down, offense, they couldn't get clicking. You know, we took it upon ourselves to go out and just tell the uh, defense, we got to go on, we got we to gotta play for the offense. And that's what we did, and uh, I'm proud of them. You look like a running back out there returning that ball. <laughs> had to get in, had to get in. You know, all the coaches stressed that we needed a pick, that we need to make something happen in the second there. And we knew LSU was going to come out throwing the ball. We just tried to make something happen, which we did. Well, your return to go put, put him ahead was big. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we kept faith. We did what we had to do. Came out with the victory. <laughs> I think the offense owes you. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a team thing. Now, they'll get it back later in the year. But for, for, for right now, it's a team thing, and we got the victory. We always, we always believed we was going to win, no matter what. That's the thing about it. Defense, hey, when our offense ain't clicking, we got to click. They pull us along when we're doing bad, we got to pull them along. The DB stepped up for us. We had some freshmen to step up. Ken Alves and all of them stepped up. Did a good job catching the ball. You guys session. did a good job rushing and the back. Yes, sir. Hey, it was a team effort. Yeah. This is the most exciting game of my whole career. I mean, the Alabama game wasn't much more exciting than this, and neither was the Florida game last year. But, uh, you know, the defense, we just pulled together. You know, somehow, some way, we, we always believe that's means we work hard every day in practice, and somehow, some way, in the end, that we're going to pull it through. I know you've been in a lot of games, but you ain't never been in one like that. No, never. I, I've never seen the defense score 20. All but three. All but 28 three. points? Is that right? I don't, well, excuse I don't me. Know. The kicker missed one on one of our touchdowns. <laughs> I got to get, get on him for that. But boy, what a what a beautiful day. Defense played hard, persevered. When offense went and getting them together, I think we played the best game we've ever played. And I tell you one thing, we got the we got the damn we got the best secondary in the nation. A great, great football game. And, uh, this star. Uh, never seen anything like it. <laughs> they, they, they need to name you defensive player of the week and offensive player of the week this week. Hey, coach, he said he was having a slow start this year. I think he caught up today. Well, I, I tell you what, I bet you if you go back and check by every other, everybody else's standards, his start ain't been too slow. By his standards, they're pretty high, and they may be slow to him. But he's a great football player. I'm and, a, and, a, and a better young man.